to Munich, Germany. So, as you can see, I went to Munich, Germany, and I absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. In order to get to Munich, though, I had to come from Amsterdam, and that was an eight-hour train ride. And you're probably wondering, Ben, what in the world do you do for eight hours on a train? Well, I shall explain that to you. There's about four distinct things that I do. One is look at my guidebooks for the next city and start planning sites, attractions, what I'm going to do. Another is do crossword puzzles, listen to my iPod or Sudoku, do something that entertains me and keeps my mind busy. An another is eat. Not very healthy food, but whatever's on hand. The fourth is vlog. I uh, try to create a vlog from the past city on the train ride. I don't sleep, but uh, that's what I do to keep busy. So I arrived in Munich. It was great. The food was great. The drinks were great. The sights are fantastic. It was a great stay. So check it out, what I've been up to. were big in Munich, Germany, but I didn't know this was what they meant by that. Alright, so I was going around Munich, Germany today, and I found this really great outdoor market, and I just simply had to buy some stuff, because I wanted some real German food, so I'm going to show you what I got. I got a nice loaf of bread, some nice sausage, of course some cheese, I made sure it was German cheese, mild though, and because my diet is significantly lacking in it, I got some fruits. Uh, fruits and veggies don't normally fall in the McDonald's, Burger King, whatever you can find from a street vendor, so it's nice to actually get some. Great outdoor market. I'm going to sit down and enjoy my nice German meal now. So, unfortunately in a lot of the cities thus far, I have not been able to have the food of where I was staying. At least not very much of it, so I vowed that in Germany I would change that, and I did. I had a lot of good food, a lot of good drink, just it was a great time. Um, of eating and drinking pretty much and so the first thing though is that whenever you think Munich basically beer is the first thing that comes to mind and Germans drink a lot of beer they drink on average about 130 liters a year and that's equivalent to about 35 gallons so that is a lot Munich residents are even higher just in the course of Oktoberfest though they drink 5 million liters of beer and they have 200,000 bratwurst and that's in the course of just two weeks so ridiculously Impressive, I guess you could say. I don't know. And so you come there, and there's six major breweries. Like, beer kind of runs the city of Munich. I mean, I think it's pretty fair to say that. And so there's beer gardens all over the place. Um, I went to one beer garden, had a beer that comes in giant liter steins, um, had a nice pretzel, just walking around. However, um, I also want to go to a few of the other beer gardens, and so the hostels that put together a nice tour and so we went to some of the major beer gardens and so I went to Augustine Keller which is the second largest in Munich and third largest in the world I mean it's outdoors, shady oak trees in fact it can actually hold 8,000 guests which is really impressive and so it's kind of just a fun evening in Germany the drinking age is 16 so I could actually drink over there um, but I just had experience it because I feel like that is Munich and Germany somewhat and the tour was a lot of fun. They taught us a few drinking songs, very basic, so that we could sing along with the Oompa Band, which is quite the experience. Went to Hofbrau House, which is world famous, and I just met some other people along the way. Just met two guys from Philadelphia area, became good friends. They're much older than me, but it was kind of just fun to hang out and talk in English, actually, for once. And uh, the people I met were great, and the experience I had was great, and it was definitely worth it. But in terms of food, I made sure I had an apple strudel, um, and then I found this really great market, and they had cheese and meats and just vegetables and fruits and just handicrafts, and it was fantastic just to walk around. It was a lot of fun. So I got some meat, some cheeses, um, saw so many bratwursts. Like, it was just fun, because this is, this is basically home for me. Like, I'm from Wisconsin, so I'm used to cheese and bratwurst and all that stuff. And so I met some nice German woman, very strong German woman, and they were selling the cheese, and uh, it was quite the experience dealing with them, but it was a lot of fun, and so I'm really glad that I actually for once got to taste the culture of where I was staying.
This is the Dachau concentration camp in Munich, Germany, where at this very site during World War II, over 30,000 prisoners were held here at one time. It was a labor camp, not an extermination camp, but still, thousands upon thousands of people died here. All right, let's see if this makes sense to you. I am an American, and I'm visiting the English gardens in Munich, Germany, and along this way, I have passed a Japanese tea house, a Greek temple, and a German polka band playing inside of a Chinese pagoda. Somehow, I guess that makes sense. But anyways, I'm here at the English Gardens in Munich, Germany. It's actually more expansive in size than New York Central Park. I've just been spending the afternoon wandering around, uh, seeing what's here, seeing the river, people surfing it, which is actually common here, and walking it. So, that's what I've been doing this afternoon. Alright, so I'm now at the Deutsches Museum in Munich, Germany, which is one of the top science and technology museums in the world. It's got basically every movable engine, a motor, boat, plane, anything you name it, it has it. So I'm here exploring it, seeing what makes it so famous, and I guess being a little nerdy while I travel. Welcome to the Olympic Park in Munich, Germany, and Munich hosted the 1972 Olympic Games. Behind me is the pool, and I believe this is the games where Mark Spitz won his seven gold medals. And it was also the Olympics in which the Israeli wrestlers were attacked and killed. So quite a famous Olympics going on here. Welcome to Munich, Germany. I'm at the highest point in Munich, almost 200 meters up, in the Olympic Tower. Behind me is the stadium from the 1972 Olympic Games from here in Munich. So when I first started looking at Munich, I didn't really know what I was going to do for sightseeing because I didn't know much in Munich uh, that was famous. And when I got there, though, there was a ton to do, and I actually didn't even get to everything I wanted. But as you can see, I made it to the Dachau concentration camp, and I felt that it was something that I should do. It was historic, but I mean... It's just something that I felt like most people should do if they're in the area. Um, most of it was torn down, but they re rebuilt some of it. But still, I saw the cremation place where that happened. I saw actually and went into um, the gas chambers and the showers. It was never used to dock out, but um, still, it was quite the experience. And I saw the famous entrance to dock which reads, Work Makes One Free. I also went to the Duches Museum, which is science technology. Is a bit boring for me. Um, still, it's kind of fun to see some portions of it. And then I also went to the Munich Park in the Olympic Stadium. And that was actually okay. It was a nice day. And I signed up for a roof tour on the Olympic Stadium. You can actually climb up and walk along the plexiglass. However, it started absolutely downpouring. So I couldn't end up doing that. But still, it was kind of fun to see the pool where Mark Spitz broke the records. and see all that stuff that goes on there and so that is it I didn't quite make it to the toy museum which I had thought about doing but I still I saw a lot in Munich so Munich has been absolutely amazing this has been one of the highlights thus far and I'm about ready to move on to my next city Rotenberg Obertober and I just need to get to the train station Unfortunately, that requires getting to the U-Bahn station, which is half a mile that way, in this torrentially downpouring weather. It is just ridiculous. I haven't seen rain like this in a long time. So, my pack is at the main train station where I left it. I don't have a raincoat or anything, so I just need to ride it out. Got some Lady Gaga, and I'm just going to have to sit here and wait until the rain lets up. Or, just get soaking, soaking wet. I'll see what I decide. So I saw a lot of great sights. I saw some history. I saw the old church of the current pope where he used to preach when he was in Germany. I also was able to see Glockenspiel, which is the second most overrated attraction in the world. Um, it's kind of just a cuckoo clock that really doesn't do too much and it does it for a really long time. But, oh well. So, great places to stay, great people, great fun. I remember once I looked up my name on Google just to see if anyone else had my same name, and I learned that's the name of a famous German pop star. And so I was thinking about it when I was in Munich. I'm like, should I drop my name to see if I, I can get anything? I don't speak the language, but I, maybe I can just get away with it. I decided not to, but still, it was a, it was a nice thought. And now I moved on to Rotenburg Obertauber. It's basically a small little village, Christmas village type thing in the Bavarian area. And, uh, and I'm hoping that it is just as great as Munich. So I'll soon find out.